Hi guys, today I wanted to do something a little different. Um, yesterday I went to the auto shaving store locally because I had a gift card from Christmas from my son and um, <clears throat> it was $40 so I knew I couldn't get everything but I wanted to try the Ocean Kelp line of products. And so I picked up um, obviously cream which I've heard great things about. Has that. Um, shave cream. Uh, I love the sandalwood from them. That was my first one, and it's just fantastic. Uh, really great performance, easy to lather, great scent. Really like it. Um, and then I wanted to get the uh, post shave balm because I love the sandalwood. It's very expensive, but I think it re works really well. Um, I just don't care for the cost. So on the Ocean Kelp, um, one thing they told me about the cream was that it's a little bit lighter. Um, in terms of consistency and lathering and things like that. And the same holds true for the aftershave. It's actually not called a balm. It's called a lotion. Um, and so I asked about that and they said, yeah, it's, it's called a lotion, but it's just a lighter formulation. So I'm going to try that. And then, of course, they wanted to upsell me. Well, you know, you're buying two things. You buy a third thing, you get a discount. <coughs> and um, the pre-shave, and I said, well, I've used the oil and uh, it's like maple syrup to me. It's just the consistency is way too thick. It comes up the brush, it comes up the razor. I don't care for it. Um, but apparently on the Ocean Kelp it's called a pre-shave gel. And I did try it um, on my hand at the store. And it's different. It's, it's lighter. It's, it's a gel. So I'm going to try that. And I don't have an auto shaving brush. I did look at one yesterday um, and I've seen them on BST but um, it's really just a brush. It's nothing special. I just like the handle. Um, so I'm not going to be using the auto shaving brush. I've got my uh, Mule Synthetic that is just fantastic. It's a huge knot. Um, it's much bigger than my Edwin Jagger Synth. I really like it a lot. Synthetic brush. Oh, it's just, it's pillow soft. It's like cotton. It's fantastic. And then, uh, quite a while back from uh, Eric Schuett, I got myself an auto shaving straight razor. So today, I am going to be using my Art of Shaving Straight Razor. Ooh. Um, I don't know uh, what kind of condition the edge is in other than I uh, ran it across the, my forearm and it did pull some hairs right off or take some hairs right off. And then I ran it across my paddle strap on the leather for 40 passes, I believe. Um, so this should be interesting. I've got my Art of Shaving Straight Razor today. Um, which I haven't used a straight razor in I have no idea how long. It's got to be uh, at least nine months or more. And if things don't go well with the straight, I've got my Feather DX non-folding. It's got the little cover on there now. It's got a professional blade in there. It's probably been used maybe three or four times at the most. So this is going to be an interesting shave. I'm looking forward to the Ocean Kelp. I've heard so many good things about it. Um, and I'll be back with you guys after my shower. I'm going to shave my head also. I'll use the head blade for that, but I'm going to use all the same products. So it should be a great shave. And as you can see, I'm in need of a shave. Talk to you soon. Okay, well, I'm back. Um, shaved my head, and that stuff is just fantastic. I really like it. Um, I showed you the box before, but the packaging is really nice. Um, there's the Ocean Kelp. And um, this is the aftershave. And... This is the pre-shave gel, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my uh, Art of Shaving Straight Razor, which is by Tears Hissard. I forgot to mention that earlier, um, and I'm going to go ahead and shave with that. And um, I'm going to probably just do a couple strokes here on the video just to see how it goes, but for the most part, um, let's see. Well, the razor seems to be shaving rather well, so I'm going to come back um, towards the end of my shave. Well, I'm almost done. Uh, third pass, actually. I did a width. Um, I did a, an against. I did a, a south to north, which is not completely against, but I did that because it's just easy for me with the straight. And then I'm finishing up here um, with another uh, north to south pass. So I'm just going to finish that up. My wife is vacuuming up the storm here. Um, 
just wanted to kind of talk about this razor a little bit. I do like it. It's not as sharp as my Shavette right now. That's not to say that it couldn't be much sharper. Um, but I do like the shave. And I do like the fact that I can cover a lot more ground with this than with my Shavette using a half DE or even with the feather. Um, so, please do. I'm just going to finish this up. Uh, give the blade a rinse here, and I'm just going to um, take this last little spot on my neck, and I'll be done. Um, so I know I'm kind of rambling, but I really am pleased to return to the straight razor. Uh, it went a lot better than expected, and I didn't have to pull out my Feather DX. had that guy standing by uh, with the guard off. So, certainly a, a very nice shave. This area here is always difficult and then I have to decide how many ways I want to attack it and how much irritation I want to risk. And today I'm not going to do that. I'm very happy with the shave. My head shave is, is better um, than it would be normally using the, these uh, products that I used today. So, I would highly recommend the Ocean Kelp line. The um, <clears throat> Ocean Kelp to me has a very lemony scent. I'm sure there are other things going on there. The performance is great. The scent is wonderful. Um, the pre-shave gel I like, uh, much different than the oil. The products are pricey for Martyr Shaving, no question about that. It is a large company. It's not an artisan company. Um, you do what you want with that. They sell um, overpriced items in there. They sell cartridge razors with lights and vibrators and um, they sell straight razors and straps too. And, and they sell the Dovo Shavette for a ridiculous price. But some of the products are really great. The sandalwood is great. I just got tired of it. I've been using it when I started. I used it for a while and um, just became old. So what I'm going to do here, quick stop, <clears throat> I'm going to rinse off and then we'll uh, apply the post-shave um, lotion, uh, Ocean Kelp, and I'll close it out. Okay, ready to close out this shave. Um, again, I used the... Um, uh, Mule uh, synthetic brush. Really like it a lot. The nice thing about a synth is that you don't have to pre-soak it and uh, it dries very quickly. So that's nice. I like that. And it's ex this particular brush is just extremely soft. Again, the razor is um, Art of Shaving by Tears Aside. It says half hollow on there, I believe. Um, nice razor. They're very expensive. I got this, like I said, from Eric. Um, and thanks Eric so much. Uh, I did have another Thiers aside that I traded away and I'm sorry that I did. But this razor was really nice. It's got the round point. Um, by the way, you can see the grind there if you can, I don't know. But it's got the round point. So I didn't have any cuts, nicks, no blood, which is unusual. Normally with my Chevet shave, it's not unreasonable to have some sort of redness uh, in terms of blood show up somewhere in the shave. So very pleased with that. Very pleased with the three pass shave. Um, straight razor was surprisingly uh, easy to pick back up for me. So I'm glad about that. I was kind of afraid to revisit it, to be honest with you. The uh, Ocean Kelp Shaving Cream from Auto Shaving, I highly recommend it. Great performance, great scent. Um, not, ex not inexpensive, but um, I, I would encourage you to pick some up. The um, pre-shave gel, uh, very nice. I was surprised. I mean, I don't know, honestly, if it makes a difference in the shave or not. But, you know, I have it. I'm going to use it. And so it, my head shave was better, but it may have just been the cream. I honestly don't know. There are people that have done videos comparing uh, pre-shave and not pre-shave, and they haven't found much of a difference. But, you know, that's up to you. So here's the aftershave uh, lotion. Um, normally, this would be called a balm in the sandalwood. This is called a lotion. It's a different formulation, I guess. I don't know. First time using it. Ocean Kelp. Uh, I'm going to put this on both my face and head here. Got to kind of build it up a little bit to get something to come out. There it goes. And I'll just show you that in just a second. It's kind of like a, it's kind of watery. Um, but we're going to find out how that works. So we're going to throw some on the old noggin. And um, yeah, the smell is wonderful on this stuff. Ocean kelp. like it a lot. So, and the sandalwood is great too. I don't know about the lemon. 
and I guess they have a new peppermint line. Um, don't know anything about that. This stuff is very light, which I like. The, the bomb normally, I don't dislike it, but it's a little bit heavier of a consistency. And this stuff is a little bit more of a, of a liquidy gel. Do like it. And that's pretty much it, folks. So um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, input at all, uh, please feel free to make comments. Um, like the video if you do. Subscribe uh, if you'd like. And please uh, visit us on Facebook at Shavet World. The group is called Shavet World. Um, and we'd love to have you there. It's a small group. We talk mostly about Shavet shaving, but uh, shaving in general. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.